So there's a big study that came out recently, and uh, the New York Post uh, put out an article about it, and I want to just read this directly. Is exercise aging you faster? The ambitious study on the oft-discussed subject has yet to be peer-reviewed, but recently won National Sports Prize in Finland, where the research was conducted over a 45-year period. Participants self-reported the time and intensity of their daily physical activity and were categorized into four groups, sedentary, moderately active, active, and highly active. Overall, they found that those who exercised the least were about 20% more likely to die over the 45 years than those who were regularly active. Um, I should note here, I don't think it said in the article that I've read here, it was a study of twins. Yes. Which is a really relevant point. So it's a very interesting um, control group that they've got there, which is, which is great. More, more than 11,000 Finnish same-sex twins were analyzed between it, 1975 and 2020. Exactly. So when they filtered for f- lifestyle factors, including education, BMI, smoking, and alcohol consumption, that number dropped significantly. That number being uh, the number who were less likely to die. Then those in the sedentary group were only 7% more likely to die compared to those in the active group with, quote, no additional benefits provided, unquote, by higher levels of exercise. Those who were the most physically active were about 1.8 years older, in quotations, than those who did a more moderate uh, or modest amount of physical activity. The researchers concluded that those who exercise may not live longer because of their workouts, but because they are generally living healthier lives. So the first part, if you exercise, you're about 20% less likely to die. Sure, that makes sense. Um, But then they undercut it all and say that we're genetically, we're we're physically older and not really less likely to die. Okay, my BS radar is going wild. Is this just a clickbait title or is there something of value and substance here? I would hate to think that 45 years of research was wasted. Um, but I also don't like the idea that exercise doesn't actually redound to a net benefit. It is a hundred percent a clickbaity title. Okay. There's, there's no doubt about it, but there is still, you know, it's, it never hurts to, for as something as obvious as exercise is good for you. It's still sometimes good to see what potentially the other side not be afraid of a counter argument right because the majority of you know whether it's a prospective trial or it's you know something more backwards looking what you know some sort of cohort or snapshot whatever the case for the most part resistance training um you know uh cardio whatever you want to call it those all generally point in the direction that the more that you're able to do the better. And if you're, especially if you're starting from zero, that initial, that, um, initial bump upwards and increase of, you know, in this study, they call it leisure time, physical activity or exercise, whatever you want to call it. Uh, any sort of bump from baseline portends the most benefit. And for the most part, you know, depending on what graph you look, what you, you know, depending on which one you look at yeah, the, you know, the amount that you're doing is going to be you know, proportional, proportional to the benefits right. that you're receiving. But the, what you're saying is that there is, this is one study, there is a mountain of, literally a mountain of other studies and research, all confirming that, that exercise is absolutely going to mm-hmm. help you live longer, right? Mm-hmm. Definitely. Okay, so let's get specific. What is it that's going on? What are they actually researching? You said that the, the article is clickbaity. What is the actual study saying? What what can we take out of this? What are they proposing or or putting forward as what they've discovered? So as we break this down a little bit, the one point that seems to get glossed over, mm-hmm. in my opinion, is... So if you just look at the title of the actual uh, research paper, the associations of long-term physical activity in adulthood with later biological aging and all cause mortality, a prospective twin study. So biological aging, what is that even talking about? Yeah. What I is mean, that in, in our minds, you know, logically it makes sense. You have chronological age. That's 
how many days, years, months, minutes have I been alive? Right. Biological age, you know, the thought that it, that, that there's something more than just your chronological age. You know, you might be 50 years old, but at the cellular level or based on other health met, you know, health metrics sort of aggregated. Yeah. Your biological age might say otherwise. Okay. Maybe you're really, maybe you have a really healthy genetic phenotype or disposition. Yeah. And maybe you're, they say based on this algorithm that your biological age is 47. There, there's like a, there's just a lot here. Yeah. There's, there's life, there's life expectancy, which is, you know, looking at chronological age. Right. They're using biological age and they're using these, these, you know, these algorithms to figure out what's, what's happening. And they were essentially, they were trying to parse out the idea that, okay, we have, we say, we have all these prospective studies mm -hmm. that say exercise and leisure time, physical activity reduces your all cause mortality. Right. But is it because the, where, you know, is it because it's causing our biological age to turn back? That, that, that in my mind is more what, you know, gets at the, what this paper is asking, you okay. know, and, and just at the fundamental level, because these, yes, these algorithms can spit out some really accurate information and they're incredibly high level. I'm not saying that they're not right, but just the fact that we're still maybe not quite there with clinically and you know, contextualizing a lot of that information. Can we really use this and, and also look at this study design, let's say, and say, oh yeah, now we know for sure exercise isn't what we thought and it's not causing a reduction in mortality risk. This was not a random, they didn't randomize anybody right. at the start. They just, you know, they pulled twins and, and I mean, granted it's a, it's a great data set. Right. It's, right. it's, it's 11,000 twins. Where yes. do you find 11,000 yeah, twins? In <laughs> Finland. It's apparently. completely unique yeah. in that regard. But it's, but again, it's not like they, it was a randomization process to, you know, the, this set is not going to exercise and you know, it's right. It's especially for 45 years. Yeah. It's still, it still paints a picture that I'm not so sure is crystal clear. <laughs> <laughs>